Hello everyone and welcome back to our last game of the day, the under 16B girls Penergy All Ireland School Cup final. So it's OLSPK of Belfast versus Clashamora Crosshaven. Uh, starting fives on OLSPK Belfast, number six Emer Napier, number seven Catherine McCreener, number eight Aaron McDermott, number ten Ellie Sargent, number twelve Maeve Napier, and on Clashamora Crosshaven, number six Amy Kelligan, number seven Neve Enright, number eleven Shona Finn, number twelve Lauren O'Connor, and number twenty-two Alex Fegan. My name is Paul Carr, I'm joined in the commentary box by Aaron Bracken. Aaron, a lot of great schools basketball this week, and what do you think we can expect from this last game? Yeah, I'd say it'll be similar to the other games, very entertaining. Um, you know, last one of the week, we've had three days of really good schools basketball, so it's exciting for these girls to be able to play on the big stage of the National Basketball Arena. And it is number 22, Alex Fegan, with the ball for Crosshaven. As the drive comes here and kick to number 11, Shona Finn. The shot doesn't go. And it's Royal SPK of Belfast coming forward on the break. And it's going to be a foul on number 7, Catherine McCreener. Against Neve Enright on Crosshaven. Sideline ball. Ball goes in there to Catherine McCreener. Passes off, shot doesn't go. And it's Alex Fegan who comes away with it for Crosshaven. Ball goes inside. Shot doesn't fall from Lauren O'Connor. Rebounded though. Shot goes up from three. Ball rebounded inside by Emir Napier. Ball here to Neve Enright, tries to get the shot up. Long rebound is collected by OLSPK. Trying to work inside there, shot goes up. But it is rebounded by Lauren O'Connor. Drive and kick. One step, pull, one dribble pull up by Alex Fegan for the opening score of the game. For Glossamora Crosshaven, who also get the steal here, but can't convert. And it is OLSPK's turn to get out on the break. Nice step through, finishes in there. But the nerves early on from both teams there. Yeah, I mean, we've seen it across the board over the past couple of days. Um, takes a little while for teams to kind of fill each other out and just, you know, a bit of nerves. Probably their first time playing in the basketball arena. Vegan tries to get it in there to O'Connor, but it's tipped, but they get the ball back. Vegan with the shot up, O'Connor with the rebound. But rebounded by OS PK, but O'Connor gets it. Can't make the finish. And just those nerves still there early in the first here as OS PK look for their opening basket. Shot goes up, can't get it to fall. And there's going to be a foul there. And we're going to have a sub. Number 21, Holly Donnelly coming in for a well SBK. Yeah, and Rebecca Curran checks in there for um, Crosshaven as Neve Enright picks up her second foul on that last play. Baseline drive and kick, doesn't go, but a rebound inside, and that's OLSPK's first score, coming from number 12, ne Maeve Napier. There's two points apiece, coming up to the halfway stage of the first quarter. Here's Fagan, ball stolen, breaks on, but intercepted there. And Alex Fagan with the ball still. O'Connor goes up top. Ball turns to the corner to Finn. Finn takes the shot, but is rebounded by O'Connor. Yeah, and she gets that one to go. She'd missed a couple early and seemed a bit frustrated with herself, but good job that time to finish. And we have a timeout on the floor.
And we're back here with 4.12 left in the first. And it is Klaus Shavora of Crosshaven leading four points to two to Willis PK. Willis PK with the ball. Gets the drive inside. And Maeve Napier can't get it to fall. Crosshaven with the ball. They find Lauren O'Connor on the baseline. Nice fake and drive, gets her own rebound. But can't get the finish. Oh, SPK. Shot there from Holly Donnelly. But it is short. And it's going to be Crosshaven's ball. Subs coming in here for Klaus Shimura as Lauren O'Connor takes the seat. And number three. I think Tar or Katie Foley checks in for Crosshaven. And it, it is her with the ball now. Ball's swing to Fagan. Can't get the shot to fall. Rebounded by Donnelly. Break could be on here. Good pass. And a second. And lovely basketball there from OSPK to get. Yeah, a very good um, transition execution there off the defensive rebound. As they tie off, tie up the game. Four points apiece. Fagan, the top of the key. Shot goes up, but it's long. Rebound inside by Donnelly. Donnelly finds McCreener. Ball could be inside here for Napier. It is. She's swarmed, but gets the shot up and takes all nice SPG's lead. Six points to four, and we have a timeout on the floor. And we're back here with 2.30 left in the first. OLSPCK leading six points to four to Klaus Jawara of Crosshaven. It is Fegan with the ball. Good defense here from the zone of the Belfast team. Try and kick there to get the ball into Fegan. But it's going to end up in a jump ball. And in lane ball for Crosshaven. Ball goes to Fagan in the corner. She gets the shot up. But doesn't fall. And the break could be on here for the Belfast team. Nice drive, but getting trapped. Can she get the ball out? She does. But as intercepting and actually comes off Napier. So 150 left in the game here, Aaron. What have you seen from both teams so far? Well, both teams working very hard. Like we said earlier, probably taking a little while to kind of get the feel of the game in particular offensively, but some nice ball movement from both sides. As Crosshaven gets the ball to Fagan. Nice drive. But can't get it to fall. Uh, 
And it's OLS PC kit with the ball. Route number seven. Catherine McCreener. Can't get that to fall. As Fagan takes the ball up for Crosshaven. To try to find an opening against the zone defense. Shot goes up. Goes in and out. And we have a jump ball here as well. As we have subs on OLS PCK team. There's number four. Roberts checks in and here's Maeve Napier with the ball. She's done a nice job so far at being aggressive and trying to get the ball into the key. It's going to be an end line ball. Sean Finn at the inbound. Shot goes up. Rebound by Finn. Pull the shot up, but rebounded this time. And draws the foul. Sean Finn. As Alex Fegan takes the ball up inside the last 30 seconds of the first. Looking for that opening to tie up the game. Finn drives, kicks it. Ball Donnelly with the rebound. And here comes Catherine McCreener. Donnelly for three. Can't get it to fall. And that's going to bring the end of the first. Six points to four to OLS PCK. Just don't worry about it for a sec because you can stream at the moment. So that's not streaming at all. No. That looks like it. Happy days. And we're back in the second quarter of the under 16B Tenergy Schools Cup Final. As OLSPCK have a one possession lead, six points to four over Skull Aura of Crosshaven. Aaron, what did you see from both teams there in the first quarter? Both teams moving the ball quite well in the half court offense. Um, Crosshaven in particular are doing a decent job breaking down the zone. They've just kind of been unlucky and haven't been able to get shots to drop. And we have an early timeout.
we're back in the second quarter. I think we just had a bit of technical difficulty with the clock in the arena here, but it is back into the second. Six points to four to OLSPCK. And Aaron just we got cut off there. What had you seen from both teams? In the yeah, first? no, I just think I think both teams are settling in well. You know, they're moving the ball well. Crosshaven doing a good job of trying to break down the OLSPCK zone. Um, just have been unlucky and haven't been getting some shots to drop. That ball is out of bounds off Crosshaven. So it's going to be Maeve Napier with the inbound. She finds Catherine Greener. It's Napier with the ball. Greener at the top of the key, drives, kicks. Napier tries to find her under the basket, but just a bit too much on that. And it's going to be Crosshaven ball. Alex Fegan with the ball, but we have an issue here with the clock, I think. And it's going to be inbound. And we have subs for all SPCK as Isa McCarran and Lara McNichol check in. Ball. Try to get the ball into O'Connor there. She does steal it, but. Ball does stay of all SPCK, but it's going to be a double dribble. And cross the ball. Ball goes in there to O'Connor, but stolen again. Layup attempt doesn't go in, but rebounded by Napier inside. Another rebound again. Doesn't fall. And it's Fegan who comes away with the ball. Fegan with the ball. O'Connor at the top of the key. And it is Curran who gets the ball into O'Connor, but the ball stripped. And it was Catherine McCreener who gets the foul and will go to the line for two. There's another sub here as Maeve Cassidy checks in for OLSPCK. And on the crosshaven side, number six, Amy Killian. Hit the first. Yeah. Or the second, so it's going to be oh, Cross Yamura, Cross Haven's ball. And Aaron still a bit of nerves here, a lot of missed shots, missed opportunities. Um, six points to four, OSB. CK lead and um, what can both teams do to, to open up the scoring for themselves um, I think probably even in that last time there like Catherine McCreener did a good job to take the high post away and you know to get a steal and get herself out in transition so I think that's probably the best way for teams to try and get something easy going you can see Crosshaven trying to get the ball to Lauren O'Connor on the high post but hasn't really been working so far and they do try to get out in the break there but Shona Finn of Crosshaven gets the tip so it's going to be inline ball Nice drive, can't get the finish though. By McCreener, that's Fagan out in the break. Finds her teammate, goes to the basket and the foul. So Amy Kelligan will go to the line for two to try to tie up this game. As she makes the first, for one point between the teams.
On the second to tie up the game. Some good free throw shooting there. Just cross Haven, press the ball. That is McCreener, who takes it for the team for Belfast. Outside shot is on, doesn't go. Rebound. Shot goes up and scored by number 13. Yeah, nice job that time by OLS. PCK to break the pressure and just be nice and composed and you know they didn't get sped up with the press and they were able to find an open shot. And that was Lara McNichol with the shot for OLS PCK. As O'Connor tries to find a teammate. Fagan drives. Doesn't get the fall to fall. And McCreener comes away with the ball. Aggressive drive. Gets it up. Rebound inside. Shot goes up, another rebound. And another score. Yeah, I think that was Lara McNichol again. She's had a good impact since she's come on. Two scores for Lara McNichol back to back as she extends the team's lead. 10 points to six. And we have a traveling violation and we're gonna have a timeout for Crosshaven. And we're back, 4.30 left in the second quarter here. OLS PCK with a 10 to six lead to Crosshaven. As Fagan finds her teammate inside. A nice shot by number 11, Shona Finn. Coming out of that timeout, nice play, a nice score there for Crosshaven there. Yeah, they did a good job executing that. I'd imagine that's what their coach drew up and it's nice when that pulls off actually and you know your team is able to do it and make the shot at the end. So nice job by Crosshaven. And that is going to be a foul on McNichols. Again, having a big impact since coming off the bench. And she's going to go to line for two. Nice, McNichols. This is the first. And make the second drop either. O'Connor with the rebound. Here goes Finn. Passes up to Fegan. He's looking to be aggressive. Ball goes inside to Finn. Back out for the shot, but it's too long. And it's going to be Belfast's ball. As we bought double dribble. So Crosshaven are going to get the turn over and get the end line possession. They're going to try run something similar here again as Fegan gets the ball. Gets the shot up, but doesn't fall. Long pass. Finds his target. Shot there. Doesn't fall. And it's going to be rebounded by Finn, but she's tied up. It's going to be a jump ball. And stay with OLS PCK. 
as they make another change. And number 10, Ellie Sargent comes back in, comes back into the game. Shot goes up there, doesn't go, but rebounded by McNichols. And a foul there on number six from Klaushvara. Which is Amy Kelligan. And she's going to sub. Shot goes up, but doesn't fall. But that one does. And that's a little SPCK's number six, Emer Napier. Who extends their lead. 12 points to eight. O'Connor looking for the opening, drives, gets blocked, but it's rebounded inside. But they can't get it to stick. And the ball here goes to McNichols. Long pass over. Sergeant drives and gets the bounce, and it goes in. Ellie Sargent there with the score as Finn looks to open something up here. Ball into O'Connor, but it's stripped on the yeah, break. Nice defense. Breaks on, long ball, can't get it to go. Rebound inside, block, and it's gonna stay quite. No, it's gonna go. We have another change here on OSP. CK as 21, Holly Donnelly checks back in. As Fegan here for Crosshaven. Finn to Fegan. Finn from the top of the key. Can't get the shot. Donnelly with the rebound. Long ball intercepted by O'Connor. He finds Fegan out in the break, but intercepted. And it's Maeve Napier who draws the foul. And we go to line for two. Actually, it's going to be a end line ball just before the shot. Long to it, attempted here, but rebounded and taken away by Crosshaven on the break through number eight, Beck Curran. Long three point attempt by Finn doesn't go, and Napier takes the ball on the break. Splits the defenders, can't get it to fall with the left hand layup. And it's O'Connor, long ball but intercepted as we go into the last minute of this game. Donnelly with the ball, shot goes up from McNichols and Fagan trying to get out in the break but she's one on two and goes back to O'Connor. Yeah, last couple of possessions there. Um, Close to where I looked to try and get out in transition, but OLSBCK actually did a good job of getting back and taking that away. Long shot in by Finn, doesn't go, but it is rebounded by Fagan, who gets the score and is fouled. So a good line for to try and make the three point play. As number seven, Catherine Kriner checks back in for the last 30 seconds of this. Half. Fagan can't get the shot to fall. It's a 14 10 lead to OLSPCK. And a foul there. And that is going to be team foul, so going to go to the line for two. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor.
and we're back here with 26.4 seconds left in the second quarter. Free throw attempt. First one doesn't fall for Emer Nipier. She does get the second. We might see a little bit of full court press here now after the timeout. Into a 1-2-2. And there's going to be a foul there on Fagan. Fagan with the ball again. Passes it and gets it back. Long ball over to the other side to but it's intercepted, and Donnelly comes away with it. Yeah, nice defense. Exactly what they would have wanted out of the timeout, so they get the last shot. And McCraner tries to get the last shot off, but it doesn't fall, and that's going to end the first half. Goal PCK leading 15 to 10.
And we're back here in the third quarter. OLSPCK of Belfast leading 15 to 10 of Clausewitz Crosshaven. Top scores in that half: Maeve Napier and McNichol on OLSPCK, both at four, and Alex Fagan on Clausewitz leading their score in four as well. Aaron, tight game. Um, Good defences from bo both teams. Both teams struggling to get their offences going. What can both teams do in the second half to, to try and get some more scores on the board? Well, hopefully they'll be a little bit more settled now. I do think Nearest probably had a big part to play in that first half. So, you know, chance to regroup at half time and come out kind of with a bit of a fresh start. Um, I think both teams are doing a good job moving the ball. Um, you know, just trying to get open looks and see can they convert. And here is Finn with the ball. Gets it back from Fagan, but it's intercepted. Donnelly for OLSPCK. Finds McCreener. In to Na Maeve Napier. Tries to get the shot off. Doesn't fall, but rebounded inside. She gets a second attempt. This one just comes out as well. I'm just going to say a cross your ball. Fagan gives the ball up to Amy Kilgan, gets it back. And ball goes to Finn, the top of the key. So it struggles to break down this defense. It goes inside, does traveling violation. And it's gonna be McCreener with the ball for OSPCK. Finds Donnelly, tries middle, Sh shot fake and drive, shot goes up, rebounded inside. Fagan gets the touch to Finn, and they're out on the break through Fagan. Looks to get it back, but intercepted again. And McCreener breaks, drives, stops, good block inside by Finn. And we have a foul. On number seven, Neve Enright. Paul goes here to McCreener. Klaus Hora looking for their opening score of the second half. Fagan looks at the shot, tries baseline, can't get it to fall. Ball's loose, Fagan comes up with it. She drives and gets the score and the foul. Big play there by Alex Fagan. Yeah, good hustle that time by Klaus Dewera to pick up that loose ball. And Fagan will go to the line, see if she can complete the three point play. Well, she does. And brings it back to a one possession game. As Farah McNichol checks back into the game. Yeah, she did very well in the first half coming off the bench. She picked up four points and, you know, she got to herself to the free throw line. So I'm sure she'll be looking to make an impact similar. Good ball movement there for West PCK. Get the shot up. and But there was a foul. So we're going to go to the line for two. And Angus Helly Sergeant going to the line here for two. She makes the first. Can't make the second, and it still is a one possession game. 16 13 to OSPCK. Finn gets the ball stripped by Napier. McCreener with the ball. 
Nice cut inside, good find by Napier. Yeah, nice offense that time. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. Now we're back with 5.14 left in the third. OLSPCK leading 18 to 13. And this cross Shimura of Crosshaven with the ball through Alex Fagan. Gets the ball into O'Connor. Turns and a nice score in there by O'Connor. Yeah, nice job out of the timeout. Let's make sure they got a good look down low. OLSPCK drives baseline. Can't get a fall and it's tipped out of bounds. Going after the rebound, so it's Glossiora ball. Through number six, Amy Kelligan. Rebounded, and the ball comes here to McGreener. Tries to find the long ball, does find it. McNichol finds McGreener back again. Shot goes up, can't get a fall. Kelligan with the rebound, Finn. Puts Fagan out in the break. Kelgan finds Fagan in the corner. Finds O'Connor down low. O'Connor backs in, spins. Can't get the fall, gets the rebound. Kelgan tries to drive, but is blocked. And it's going to be an inline ball for Crosshaven. Fagan gets it in the corner, puts it back into Kelligan, tries to step through, finds O'Connor, O'Connor out to Fagan, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. As McCreener takes the ball up for OSPCK, passes it off. Shot by Napier, get, misses but gets her own rebound and is fouled. So she'll go in line for two shots. As she makes the first. Can't convert the second, and it's Fagan who gets the ball. Tries to set her teammate out on the break. Kelligan has it. Stepping through, finds Fagan, who finds Finn at the top of the key. Drives, passes it back to Fagan. Can't get the shot to drop. And McCreener takes the ball away for OSPK. Nice pass inside. Yeah, nice recognition there by Katrin McCreener to find uh, her teammate down low. And it's going to be Kelligan with the ball. Finds O'Connor. Connor to Fagan. Fagan drives. Pass it back into Finn, but it's crowded in there. And oh, well, SBCK nearly got away on the break. And Rebecca Corn checks back in for Glossamora Crosshaven.
Fagan finds O'Connor down low, backs down our player, but can't get it to fall. And OS BCK get out in the break. Shot goes up there from the corner. So extends the lead 23 15. Kerner gets the rebound and she's out on the break. Finds her teammate, but just a little bit too much on it. And there's going to be a foul there on Rebecca Curran. But Aaron Catherine McCrane are having a couple of nice plays there, really getting out in the break, getting a couple of nice shots and nice passes. Yeah, she's coming alive now. She shot the ball um, in the first half, some nice luck, but just wasn't able to get anything to fall, but has really been active now in this last couple of possessions. Ball goes out there to Kelligan from O'Connor. Takes the shot. But McCrainer with the ball in the break. Guarded tightly by Fagan. Finds McNichols. Shot goes up and score. Another score for McNichols. Yeah, and another rebound and assist that time there for Catcher McCrainer. As that opens up a 10 point lead for OLS PCK of Belfast. Good drive there by Kelligan and she gets the foul and we'll go to the line for two with 141 left in the third quarter. As Catherine McCrainer takes a break. And Emer Napier comes up. <laughs> Kelligan is the first. But can't hit the second. Nice break there and a foul by O'Connor. And that will send number six, who is Emer Napier, to the line for two. Yeah, OLSPCK really doing a good job getting out in transition in this last, say, minute of the game. And some great free throw shooting on display from OLS PCK as they regain their 10 point lead. Three Napier can't make the second. And O'Connor gets the ball. Here goes Fagan. And control it. Goes to Kelligan. Back to Fagan. Shot goes up. But it goes in and out. And OLS PCK come away with the ball. But they dribble it off the foot, so it is going to be cross to wear a ball. 1.15 left in the third. A sub by cross to wear. As number two, Tara O'Connell checks in. And sub on Willis PCK as number 11, Lisa Wilson, and 22, Isa McCarran check in as well. Fagan to Kelligan. Back to Fagan. Then at the top of the three. She drives, tries to get the shot up, and that is going to be a foul. So she'll go to the line for two shots. Then can't hit the first. Or the second, but she does get the rebound. Finds Curran under the basket, tries to get the shot up. And pokes it out of bounds to stop the fast break. It's going to be Maeve Napier with the inbound. Ball goes across and inside to Maeve Napier, who steps through and finishes. Yeah, nice finish. Good job getting the ball into her for that next last possession. And that puts OS PCK up by 12, 28, 16, going into the last 30 seconds of the third quarter. 
Shot up by Finn. Finn banks it in. Keep the score in within 10. And OSPCK will try to hang on here for the last shot, or maybe not. She gets blocked inside. Ball comes off the, the ground, but it is nearly stolen, and that's going to be the end of the third. So, oh, that's PCK with a 10 point lead, 28 to 18. And we're back here in the fourth, OS PCK leading 28 to 18 to Klaushawara of Crosshaven. Curran here with the ball for Crosshaven. Shot goes up, but it's rebounded inside by McNichols. And the break is on here for OS PCK. Shot goes up there from McCreaner. Can't get it to fall. The rebound, McNichols takes the shot. Ball, rebound, tries to rebound inside against Finn, and that's going to be a jump ball. And it's going to stay OSPCK ball. Shot goes up there from McNichols. And the ball is out of bounds, so it's going to be Clashore at Cross Haven's ball. Alex Fagan with the ball. As O'Connor gets ready to check back in. Corrin drives. She's swallowed up by the defense. Long ball over there to Finn. Finds Fagan. Back to Finn, who takes the two. But that's long. Nichols with the rebound. Puts it out here to Emer Napier. Finds the pass and the score. Yeah, nice job on the break again that time. You can see that was the difference in the third quarter of them getting out and transition a little bit. And they're just running harder at the moment than Crosshaven. And here is Fagan to Finn to Curran at the top of the key. Callaghan looking for a chink in that armour. And it is broken up and it is McCreener on the break. And Connor is going to check back in for Crosshaven. Cross Alex Fagan on the ball. And it's off to Finn. Drives, kicks it back to Fagan, who takes on the shot. Connor tries to get the rebound, but can't. And McCreener. Takes it away for OSPCK. She finds her teammate under the basket. Yeah, Ellie Sargent that time. She, that's four points for her now in transition in the last two couple of possessions. And 
Marshall takes a 32-18 point lead. Shot goes up in the corner there for Koshawara, but can't get it to fall and a foul committed. So it's gonna be well S P C K ball. As 21, Holly Donnelly checks back in. McCreener with the ball. And I think we're going to have a travel. Yep. Finn comes back to help Fagan bring the ball in. Fagan hands off to O'Connor. Connor drives, but it's stripped. And McCreener comes out on the break. Here's the ball there for Sargent. Sargent can't get it to fall. Finn gets it. Needs to get over the line for the eight second violation. Fagan at the top of the key finds O'Connor. Gets it back. Swarmed by that defense, but is fouled. And we'll go to the line for two. With five minutes left in this game. As number six, Amy Kelgan checks back in for Tara O'Connell. Fagan can't hit the first. Or the second. Finn with the rebound, gets it to Corrin, Corrin drives, puts up the shot, it's rebounded by O'Connor, who gets it to fall. Yeah, they needed that one, they're going to have to see if they can cope with some steals and, you know, try and get some more baskets here now to keep it within reach. And OSB CK shot falls short, so chance to bring it back to a 10 point game here for Koshawara. We find Finn, Finn drives, Finn can't get it to fall, Kelligan with the rebound, finds Fagan, her shot is long, Kelligan drives, finds O'Connor, O'Connor backs down, kicks it back out, and is stolen, and the break's on here, good pass inside from Imer Napier, who finds Donnelly for two. Yeah, nice fast break again. And a good job again by Katrin McCreener of being able to get the ball up ahead and you know get her teammates involved. And it is McCreener on the ball again. Shot in the corner there from Napier, but it is Koshawara ball. Fagan finds Curran in the corner. Takes it back up to Kelgan, who's going to look at the three and hits it. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor.
And we're back here with 3.25 left in the game. OSPCK leading 34 to 23. Rebound by Plashawara. And there's going to be a foul on Emer Napier. Alex Fegan with the ball for Klaus-Jawara. Finds Gallagher. Picks the Corrin. Corrin looks at the three. Doesn't fall. Rebound inside by Maeve Napier. Drive from Sargent. And she's fouled by Finn under the basket. And she'll go to the line for two. Can't make the first. Does make the second. And regains a 12 point OLS PCK lead. Inside the final three minutes of the game. A stolen there but stolen back by Fagan. Tries to find her teammate but it's tipped away. And as she comes off, Kelligan. And we have a timeout on the floor. And we're back with 2.40 left here in the fourth. OSPCK leading 35 to 23 to Klaushawara of Crosshaven. Here's the ball with McCreener. Good ball movement as they try to force an opening. Ball found into Napier who drives and is fouled and we'll go to the line for two and Erin Imer Napier has been very impressive so far today yeah she has she's just done the simple things really well you know she got out in transition she was able to finish she got to the free throw line and um, I definitely think it's been a real team performance though for OLSBCK like you know everybody that has stepped on the floor has made an impact as Napier goes one from two from the line. Stem the lead 36 23. Going into the last two minutes here of the game as O'Connor. Double dribbles. And Toshiwara here pressing the ball on trying to get some turnovers. Ball goes in to Maeve Napier. McCreenan with the ball, drives, pulls up, can't get it but gets her own rebound and that's going to be a jump ball and it's going to be class of worry ball. Here is Fagan 
for Klaushawara. Finds O'Connor. Corn. Back screen set by Finn. Corn kicks it to Kelligan. Finds Finn. He's going to go for two. And hits the two. His toe is just on the line. Long two there by Shona Finn. As Napier finds her teammate under the basket, but it's travelled by Sargent. As OSPCK lead 36 25. Kelligan with the ball for Kloshora. Finds O'Connor. Connor looks at the three and hits it. And OSPCK with the ball through Napier. With the eight point lead going into the last minute of the game. Napier with the ball to the corner. Oh, we're going to need to get a shot off here. Shot clock violation is coming, and it does come. So it's been Klosha Wara, cross haven ball. Eight point lead for OSPCK. Going into the last 50 seconds of the game. We're going to need a quick shot here. Fagan finds O'Connor. Yeah, same spot. O'Connor can't get this one to fall. And it's going to be OSPCK's ball. Press on from Crosshaven. Ball goes in to McCreenan, who finds Nave Napier. Napier. Good ball movement, just to wind the clock down here. Uh, but they just step out of bounds. And Kelligan takes the ball here for Klaus Shora. Inside the th last 30 seconds, she takes on the three. Falls short. And OSPCK just going to try to run the clock down here. Ball goes in. Napier takes the shot on. Maeve Napier is fouled. McCrannan. And this looks like it's going to be a win for OLS PCK of Belfast. Inside the last three seconds, they're going to be the under 16B Girls Schools Cup champions. Impressive performance from them today, Aaron. Yeah, I think both teams did very well. You know, even Crosshaven hitting a couple of shots there, probably a little bit too late, but both teams played nice basketball. And I think, like I said, OLS PCK played very nice team basketball. And I think a lot of the girls that stepped on the floor today had contributions towards the win. As McCrina. Hits the first of two free throws. But can't make the second. And that's going to be the end. And OSPCK of Belfast are the Penergy under 16B girls school cup champions. Great performance by both teams. Miserations to Klaushawara of Crosshaven who had an excellent game. And that wraps up the School Cup Finals for this week. We'll be back over the weekend for the National Cup Finals. So from me, Paul Carr and Aaron Bracken, thanks for tuning in.
Before 